Special Olympics Wisconsin has always provided year-round sports training and athletic competitions to individuals with intellectual disabilities. Now, schools and Special Olympics are working together in a new way that transforms the lives of students in the classroom as well as on the playing field. Project Unify empowers students grades K through 12 to actively promote respect, dignity, and advocacy within their school. Project Unify activities are beneficial to um, teachers and students because it brings us all together and it helps us realize that really we're all the same. We're all people and we all have feelings. By connecting youth leaders, playing unified sports, and encouraging school-wide engagement, Project Unify provides all the components needed to break down the social barriers that often hinder students with intellectual disabilities from feeling like a part of the school culture and helps give all students the chance to learn from each other. Take a closer look around your school. Are there students being bullied? Are there students living in the shadows? Whether you are a school administrator, teacher, or student, you can shine a light on injustice. All it takes is one person to start to spread Project Unify's message of inclusion. I'm here because I just want to get the rest of my student body involved with Special Olympics. It's a great cause and it's just really going to help out with everything. Right, Nikki? Yeah. One student can make their school a welcoming place for all their classmates, no matter what their ability, by spreading the word. The first step is to form a school coordinating team. The team is comprised of two teachers, one special education and one general education, and two students, one with and one without an intellectual disability. Since there is power in numbers, the team recruits students with and without intellectual disabilities to join a fans club and participate in a variety of social activities which encourage students to build friendships. Through Project Unify activities, we're able to engage students with and without cognitive disabilities and get them moving in activities and uh, interacting together, things that can't necessarily happen in the classroom. Uh, and hopefully uh, through those activities, we're able to break down uh, stereotypes and build up friendships. I had a student in my math class last year who would make other students cry. And we as a staff decided that he needed some wraparound care to make sure that he wasn't harassing and he wasn't bullying. And one of the pieces that we used to help him change his behavior was to get him involved with Project Unify. And this student went from a kid who is harassing and bullying and making children cry to on one of our field trips grabbing one of our um, kids who has a visual impairment by the hand and leading him through a maze and saying come on I'll help you and it was just so wonderful to see him turn that corner and to come to the realization that we are all equal. Fans clubs activities encourage students to understand their peers and with understanding comes acceptance. Fans clubs might encourage their members to participate in activities like the Polar Plunge, an event where Wisconsinites run or jump into freezing cold water to support Special Olympics athletes. Or if that isn't cool enough, fans clubs might volunteer at one of Special Olympics' many fundraising or sporting events across the state. Fans club members might become fans in the stands by cheering on athletes with homemade posters and banners from the bleachers. One of my most emotional moments came when we got an email from uh, the mother of a Special Olympic athlete that we helped and she said that her worry for her son was always that he would never fit in school, he would never have friends, he would never have anyone who would come and hang out with him. And she said now that fear of hers is gone because of kids like us who are willing to go and simply hang out or go and watch their, uh, their basketball game. It made me appreciate um, these individuals and maybe understand how much of a difference we're truly making. If students with intellectual disabilities in your club aren't in Special Olympics already, encourage them to join and let them know you'll be right there on the sidelines cheering them on. Another way to bridge the gap between students with and without disabilities is through the power of sports. Whether you're bowling or wee dancing, sports speak a universal language we can all understand. Project Unify schools offer unified sports for Special Olympics athletes to play side by side with their peers without intellectual disabilities so that everyone has a place on the team. 
sports take away the anxiety of social interactions, not only for students with intellectual disabilities, but for those without as well. Special needs kids aren't the only ones that are secluded or singled out or sit all by themselves or walk out of the lunchroom crying because they've been teased. Giving them a game to play with someone, to focus on, takes away all those social barriers that require more tuned in social skills. You're never too young to play unified sports. At the elementary school level, children are participating in Young Athletes, which engages youth ages two through seven, both with and without intellectual disabilities, to learn foundational sports skills such as kicking and catching. Through engaging a core group of students in a fans club or unified team, friendships are built. However, Changing your school's climate takes more than just a day-long activity or one-time sports event. Students need to spread the message of respect to the entire student body day after day and year after year. One tactic that has gone viral in schools is the R word campaign. Students have gotten the whole school talking about a word that hurts many students with intellectual disabilities. At our school we had a spread the word to end the word assembly and we just tried to get the message across that it's not an okay word and it's just up there with all the rest of them. And so even if people say it now, I'm just like, you shouldn't use that. It's not right. It hurts people. The R word, retard or retarded. Millions of people have pledged to stop using the R word across the world, including hundreds of students in Wisconsin who have hosted R word campaigns and rallies. I hosted one of those in my school and it was very successful. Many students took the message to heart. Um, another great way you can spread the word to end the word is just personally. When you're talking with others um, and they use the word, especially your friends, you can't be afraid to tell them that that's wrong, that it's really harmful. It's not just students who are taking a stand. Teachers are getting into it by incorporating educational lessons into their general education classes to talk to their students about inclusion and are hosting discussions from movies that move, like The Sandlot and Lord of the Rings. In schools where popularity is fragile and students with disabilities aren't the only ones who are judged and stereotyped, these lessons can help everyone fit in and excel. I think that any teacher that can incorporate the lessons of acceptance, no matter what, into their classroom is benefiting the entire student body. It's not just about special needs kids, it's about everybody feeling accepted everywhere. Nothing compares to the stories I hear from the teachers after working with them about how they've seen their students just excel after engaging in Project Unify. The quiet student that maybe didn't have any friends all of a sudden is the person down the hallway that everybody wants to give high fives to and is smiling. And you just see that climate change and the, the respect that's there. Uh, it just puts a smile upon your face. By connecting youth leaders, playing unified sports, and encouraging school-wide engagement, Project Unify is erasing the misconceptions students have about their peers who are different and creating school communities where students can grow and achieve more. Unify! If you want to see change at your school, get involved with Project Unify. Contact Special Olympics Wisconsin at specialolympicswisconsin.org.